My name is Phyllis Chakar Philip. I am curator at Aga Khan Museum. For today, I have selected a manuscript from the Aga Khan Museum collection. This manuscript is part of a text called the Canon, a handbook of medicine. Canon of medicine is the work of the Iranian scholar Ibn Sina. The Western world knows him as Avicenna. The manuscript is written in five volumes. It contains observations on anatomy, on temperament, on disease, on pathology, and on drugs and pharmaceuticals. The Aga Khan Museum has both volume four and five in its collection, with a time difference of 22 years of execution, which is evidence of them being from two different copies of the manuscript. Nevertheless, both parts of Canon of Medicine are written only 15 to 36 years after the death of Ibn Sina, and they are certainly considered to be two of the earliest copies of his work. Volume 4 at the Aga Khan Museum was completed 1073, and it is on pathology. This volume deals with medical conditions that affect different parts of the body or the body as a whole. It concludes with a treatise on personal hygiene, emphasizing the care of hair, skin, nails, and the treatment of body weight-related health matters. Looking closer at Volume 5, we discover that it was completed in 1052, revealing that it was one of the earliest copies of the manuscript. The title page of the manuscript announces that it contains the fifth book of the canon on compound drugs and pharmaceuticals. The title is followed immediately by Ibn Sina's full name, al shah al-Ra'is Abi Ali Ibn Sina. Other scripts around the page reveal the names of previous owners of the manuscript. In this five-volume encyclopedia, Ibn Sina brought together medical knowledge from the Greco-Roman, Chinese and Muslim worlds, including insights from Hippocrates, Aristotle and Galen. The Canon of Medicine, as the most complete encyclopedic corpus of medieval medical knowledge, became the standard source of all medieval references in the medical school of the West and was considered the most influential medical encyclopedia in Europe where it was taught in universities well into the 18th century. For more details to this manuscript, please see our website or visit our wonderful museum and its collection in person.